Hello and welcome to City Edition, the City of Bend's video news magazine. I'm Ann Orange. In January, councillors Bruce Abernethy, Justin Livingston and Bill Mosley took office and Casey Rhodes was elected as mayor. Here's their views on city governance and what they hope to accomplish. Yeah, I originally wanted to get involved so that I could help people. I've lived in Bend for a long time and uh, there's some severe housing problems. We had an employee who had to live in a tent for a month, uh, terrible street conditions, and I just want to be a part of the solution. It's striking to me the, the similarities between when I first ran in 2000 and when I ran, ran again this past year in 2016. It, it really is about managing growth and how you deal with some of the big, uh, you know, expensive infrastructure projects, how you deal with the city growing up and becoming more urbanized. Uh, the reason why I ran, decided to run for city council is uh, through different, uh, I've served on different committees, uh, whether it's the Neighborhood Association's Affordable Housing Committee, and uh, I felt that I could, I could bring a certain value and a certain perspective to council uh, that it was missing, and I, I felt like I could be a little bit better in touch uh, with the voters uh, and with the citizens of Bend, uh, particularly being an Eastside resident. Uh, I thought I could, that was an important voice to bring to council. Personally, one of my priorities is to shorten up the council meetings and be more focused on the business agenda. So we're out of there by 10 o'clock at night. My goal as mayor is to help lead the council and keep it focused on keeping Ben livable by making important improvements and investments in our transportation system to relieve congestion and improve safety. We were growing very fast in 2000, we're growing very fast again right now. But back in 2000, we actually had the ability to grow a little bit. To, to get larger before people really saw the impact of that growth, I don't think we do now. We're sort of at that, at that critical mass where, quite frankly, traffic has been significantly worse the last year and a half. Parking is harder to, to get. You're driving by neighborhoods and you're seeing houses much closer together. That really is going to be, that, that, that is a reality and that's going to be the reality going forward. The thing that I would hope to improve upon would just be getting uh, the council focused back on, on city services, the core services that, that the city provides. Well, that's police, fire, planning, uh, snow removal, as we, as we know the last uh, few weeks. Uh, road repairs is another big item that we need to, need to address. And until we're doing those services well, then we don't, we don't need to be looking at other things that divert money from those services. Yeah, the issues that I think are, are particularly important right now are um, the strategic planning focus of the city itself. So in a business like mine, I've got a little over 60 employees. I'm used to making plans and getting things done. And then um, housing in particular, and then streets. I really think those are the top issues facing the city right now. The, the largest goal for me personally is making sure we're taking a good long-term look at our transportation needs and doing the things we need to do to put ourselves as a council and as a city government in a position to make an ask of the voters in a couple years. The other thing that I, that, I, that I believe that I would bring is with a policy background, I tend to see more gray. I don't, I'm not ideological, I'm not, I don't vilify one side or the other. And for me, you have people coming with either black or white arguments. I'm like, no, I'm gonna try and find the, the kernels of truth or the, the things that, that will add value in a final solution. The state of the city today, I believe, uh, is we have some really good aspects. And our city staff does an amazing job. I mean, everything from our city uh, manager, Eric King, all the way down, has an amazing staff. They've been fantastic to deal with uh, through this transition. I'm frankly one of the people that have a little bit of concern about, about the city overall. And if anything, this is a time and a time of high, of high growth and challenges within our community. I actually think we need staff to feel as confident and capable as ever. This is the time that we need to be able to count on um, the civil servants that are trying to help us. I think the state of the city of Bend is, is a, we're in a good state. I think that we have unlimited upside and potential as a city. I think that we can absolutely maintain our livability. Bend will grow. It's just a question of how and how fast. And we really can't control how fast, but certainly through the annexation policies and the code work we do, we can maintain its character, its livability, and its functionality. And that's what I'm focused on.